Summer is officially over. Hi, this is Mimi Bonnie, and in today's video, I'm going to share some of my recent lifting, my goals for the fall and winter, and some changes in my training. So I got down to 150 pounds at 5'6 at my leanest this past summer, and I'm averaging now about 152 pounds. I do feel like I have way more than enough muscle, so I'm not going on any sort of you know muscle building bulking phase. Um, so I'm going to go for a different type of transformation. I've been doing mainly muscle growth rep ranges to build lean mass, so I'm going to shift my training to more strength sets and also incorporate more compound lifting. So the goal is to eat at a deficit for fat loss and hopefully be able to actually still build some muscle in some areas. I know it's not impossible, really, really difficult, especially since you're, uh, if you're not in a beginner stage. So let's see what happens. As most of you know, I do my training fasted with the exception of 10 grams of BCAAs from BPI Sports. And post-workout, I always have a brave protein shake because it is beneficial to have protein pre and post-workout. And also because it's really hard to reach your protein requirements without a protein shake during your day. And if you guys missed it, I did start a free intermittent fasting group on Facebook. So if you're interested in IF, join it. It's at Intermittent Fasting Life. This is now my new favorite back exercise, a great movement, the seal row. So ideally this should be parallel to the floor, but I don't have anything like that in my gym. So I have figured out how to actually lower this incline a little bit and be able to grab the bar without a spotter. <laughs> and I'm up to now 40 pounds on each side for eight reps. I'm also starting bench as a beginner. So I've always done incline double presses simply because I couldn't do bench because of an old injury that I had from doing a stupid push-up contest like years ago. So I'm taking a page from the power lifters here and it looks really funny, but uh, the setup does get you into the correct form to avoid any shoulder issues. And this is my warm up um, practice session and I got up to 45 pound plates and then I did another session in between legs so I'm excited to see how strong I can get on these. Bench I'm only focusing on strength sets. And for other chest movements, I'm also going to do just strength. So for example here, I tried to see what my strength sets were and I got 90 plus 25, 115 plates on each side, which was pretty cool. And hoping that it would help my incline dumbbell presses. And my incline dumbbell presses did get better. So this is my PR for right now. I just did this literally yesterday. 75 pounds for seven, a lot easier. And the last rep somehow my arms just gave out. So that did not count at all. 
So gonna start doing overhead presses and also try to get back some of the glute gains that I lost because of a stupid knee sprain that I got from doing a creative abs exercise that someone suggested. Yeah, I messed up my knee doing abs. <laughs> This is my best that I've done so far. Right before I got injured, I worked up to 185 for 11 at a much better depth than I've ever had. Uh, I have gone to 225 for 20, but my squats were like a little above parallel. So I'm focusing on one set of growth rep range from anywhere from eight to 10. And the other rep range is like 15 to 20 because my legs can grow really really fast and squats can get your thighs bigger Here's a peek at one of my chest and back workouts, which I usually don't pair together, but I started with inclined dumbbell presses, then I did this uh, chest press, which I've gotten a lot stronger at. And then I did the pec deck machine. I usually do this or use cables, and my chest, I really don't do much, maybe three exercises most. Doing some tempo training for back. This pull up with a really slow negative with palms facing in actually feels really, really good. I also like doing this with major volume as a warm up for your lats. So going slow on the negative, aiming for 15 reps, and doing maybe four sets of this basically back to back and just taking a breather in between sets and squeeze at the bottom. If you do this with such high volume, it really burns. And a variation of lat pull down under hand grip. I do all sorts of grips here, but here, I am focusing on going really slow up, sticking my head through, and repeat. Seated cable row machine, so this is nothing new, you know, I do all the standard movements um, and there are a variety of grip variations for this as well. And I've showed this in some other videos, but I really love this underhand row here that I'm using from the leg press machine. On this supported row machine, I also really love doing tempo training on this and going really slow on the negatives. This here is me doing dips after already blasting my triceps, so I usually do this in the beginning, not the end, but um, I haven't really moved beyond 45 pound plates, and I may experiment doing some strength sets on this just to see what weight I can dip. Yeah. <laughs> nah. Yeah, 
Look at the biceps. Look at the back arm, man. She's a beast, baby. All day. Easy money. Easy money. Yep. Yeah. That's the that's the Asian beast right there. She the best. Oh, and I'm practicing a dance that involves a lot of hair flipping. Right, and that's it for today's video. I didn't really have much structure to it, just posted a lot of lifting videos. So if you guys liked watching that, let me know by clicking like below, comment below, make sure you subscribe, and thanks for watching.